about 2.30 this afternoon, uh, we received a call here at the mm -hmm. Sheriff's Office from some fishermen in Lake Oak County that they had spotted what they thought to be a bite. Uh, my deputies immediately responded to that scene in the patrol boat and uh, confirmed uh, it was a body. Uh, stayed there on the scene uh, with uh, DR Rangers and myself, uh, along with other uh, deputies and FBI agents went to that scene, uh, at which time we uh, physically recovered the body of a female. Uh, do I know for certain that this is the body of Shirley Nerman? I do not. I can't say that with 100% certainty, certainty, but it does fit the physical description of her, the hair color, uh, and as well as some surgical scars that I was aware of. So I am uh, fairly confident uh, that this is the body of Mr. Can you tell us anything about the condition of that shirt? The body was, the condition of the body uh, would, would have been consistent uh, with the body being underwater until the gases that develop within it bring it up uh, and would be consistent uh, with uh, time period that we uh, uh, believe uh, Mr. Dermott uh, was uh, murdered. Any signs of cause of death? And are you, are you calling it a homicide? It most definitely is a homicide. I will not speak on the minutia of this. I'm not going to. I don't even start. Uh, the body will be transferred to State Crime Lab in Atlanta uh, and uh, cause of death will be determined later. Chair, can you put in context where the body was discovered in relation to where the Dermot home is? This body was discovered uh, a good five to six miles from the Dermot home, uh, down near the dam. Uh, we have GPS coordinates of the source of where we actually pulled the body from the water. Uh, and I anticipate uh, that it actually is probably going to be in Green County. Here the center channel, but I anticipate when we actually plot that, it's going to be on the Green County side. The Green County Sheriff's Office responded with us, as well as their coroner and our coroner. Uh, and the decision was made to let us have the body, regardless of which county it was in, because of the case that we were working. So, if the water is still, what does that tell you about the fact that her body was found that far away from her home? Well, that, that, that question kind of answers itself, is that that body was transported, or at least to, to that facility. Without getting into the minutia, as you called it, was there, were there signs of trauma? That uh, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't tell, and, and I didn't disturb the body. Uh, we want the lab and the pathologist at the state crime lab to do their thing. There was no glaring sign of trauma uh, to the body. Now, it, but I stress to you, the body is uh, de decomposed. The extent of decomposition, uh, you know, has some effects that keep you from telling that. But, but no, her head was not removed or anything glaring like that. Do you think there was any attempt to conceal the body at all? Did it appear that Well, way? yeah, it's in the lake. Any other attempts like, you know? No, I mean, I'm not going to elaborate on anything else about the condition of the body not prudent for me to do so in the context of this investigation. To what extent are you searching that area for other evidence that uh, you are looking for? Well, obviously, we will do that to some extent. Now, this was approximately 50 foot of water, you know, the depth there is near the main channel of the Oconee River uh, that, that, that divides Green and Putnam County at that point. And uh, obviously, we're going to be out there. The NR asked to take the uh, uh, submersible uh, vehicle that they have. That we've been using in the code. Uh, or he's requested that. Now, what we'll find, I don't know. It's, like I said, it's very deep at that. Sheriff, sure, I know you've had a close contact with the family. Did you make the phone call to their of children? Of course I did. I wouldn't have been. Be talking to y'all about what I mean, I guess, without going into the personal nature of a, a very personal conversation, can you just tell us what you were able to convey given what you don't know? One of the children, uh, and asked that she contact the others, and uh, I told her basically what I'm telling y'all right now, and not much more. 
Are they headed back this way? I told her I'd talk to her. I knew that y'all would be waiting on me. And so I told her I'd have to deal with that. Plus, we still got an investigation we're running here. Some things we got to do. And uh, so I did tell her I'd call her later. How does this move your investigation forward? I mean, if you've got this, is, you've been looking for this part of your, to close this part of your investigation. What does this mean moving forward? This jumps was about two checkers up on the checkerboard, shall we say. And uh, uh, even though it opens a whole new arena, shall we say, of, of uh, the possibility of the, uh, of the criminals or the probability of the criminals perpetrating crime by a uh, boat uh, as, as a mode of transportation, uh, we now, unfortunately, know that Shirley Derman was murdered. We're no longer, unfortunately, seeking to rescue her. Uh, and as bad as that is, it progresses our investigation and hopefully uh, the pathology and the things we get from the lab will yield some uh, pathological and forensic evidence that will aid us in, in finding out the did Any indication that the body may have been weighted down or there was a I'm not, but that's not talking about the body. No, it is talking about the body because it's part of the body. But I'm just saying, I'm not going into my new issue. We're conducting an investigation. The world doesn't need to know everything we do. We don't need to jeopardize things at trial, and I'm not going into that. Well, you mentioned transporting them as well. It couldn't have floated from the home to that area. I don't think of that distance. I mean, this is a significant distance. 